Okay, guys, now we've got uh, multiple, no, not multiple choice, matching type of questions. Now, there is one thing strange about this question type here. Uh, that thing is they have given the options A, B, C, D, right? But usually they give these type of things in questions. I mean, now the latest pattern, because this is Cambridge IELTS book number 10, right? Uh, they have two options. Option number one, that the names of dolphins they give in the questions and the options actually comments go in the op in the options there so they may replace it as well okay it should be ready baat samajh rahe hain na jo dolphins ke naam likhe hue hain aam taur pe ye questions mein aate hain aur comments jo hain wo upar jaate hain example in any cambridge ielts you can see the example right example ye hai ki jo question number 16 hai that will be the name of dolphin 17 will be the name of dolphin echo 18 will be the name of dolphin kiwi 19 will be the name of dolphin samson and these comments will go like a b c d jahan pe likha hua hai 16 17 18 that will be a b c d and all that so ye interchange bhi ho sakta hai okay now listen whenever they give you any proper nouns name of movie name of books name of people don't read that whether it is in the questions or in the options, you just have to read the comments. Okay? Now, over here, dolphin names A, B, C, D, you don't need to read them. They will talk about them one by one. All you need to read is the question. It's question number 16. It has, now tell me what is it? Dolphin. dolphin. It's one of these dolphins. Okay? It has not been seen this year. Okay, now they will talk about a dolphin and they say this year we haven't found her anywhere but we are looking forward to see her or we are looking forward to seeing her, anything like that. Uh, now, the names are mentioned, A is Moon Dancer, alright, dances on the moon, this is the name of dolphin, B is Echo, C is Kiwi and D is Samson. Now, I play the audio, just see which dolphin has not been seen this year. I'm sure our listeners will want to find out what they can do to help. You mentioned the adopt a dolphin scheme. Can you tell us about that? Of course. People can choose one of our dolphins to sponsor. They receive a picture of it and news updates. I'd like to tell you about four which are currently being adopted by our members. Moon Dancer, Echo, Kiwi and Samson. Unfortunately, Echo is being rather elusive this year and hasn't yet been sighted by our observers. But we remain optimistic that he'll be out there soon. Echo has not been sighted, elusive and has not been sighted this year. So Echo is B. So answer is B. On your answer sheet, you will write B. Never write the word, especially when they label it A, B, C, D. Then never write the word. Okay, question number 17 photographed more than the others now she will say like this uh, dolphin likes to have her photographs taken or she is photogenic or anything like that photographed more than the others and by the way one option can be used twice as well thrice as well a b c d they can use it anytime all the others have been out in force samson and moon dancer are often photographed together but it's Kiwi who's our real character, as she seems to love coming up close for the cameras. And we've captured her on film hundreds of times. Yeah, Kiwi. We've captured her on films hundreds of times. So answer is C will be the right answer. Very good. Question number 18. It is always very energetic. Now for energetic, they might use any other word. Let's see. They all have their own personalities. Moon Dancer is very elegant and curves out and into the water very smoothly, whereas Samson has a lot of energy. He's always leaping out of the water with great vigor. <laughs> very good. Leaping out of water with vigor has a lot of energy. Samson, D is the right answer. Okay, very good. Uh, we've got question number 20. It has an unusual shape. Now they will... Okay, 19. It is the newest one in the scheme. Now, newest one means just joined, recently joined, just become the part of it, like that. You'd probably expect him to be the youngest. He's not quite. That's Kiwi. But Samson's the latest of our dolphins to be chosen for the scheme. 
Samson is the latest one, right? So D is the right answer for that. Question number 20. It is an unusual shape. Now, focus shape, unusual. For unusual, they can use the word unique, different, antique, or anything like that. Let's see. Kiwi makes a lot of noise, so we can often pick her out straight away. Echo and Moondancer are noisy too, but Moondancer is easy to find because she has a particularly large fin on her back, which makes her easy to identify. So, yes, they're all very different. Particularly, well, they sound a fascinating group. Particularly and large fin. A. A. Exactly. That is Moondancer. She's got particularly large fin. Okay.